Good morning, people out there. Sunday morning, I woke up and I feel good. I hope you do the same. Anyways, we're in Arnpriar, southeast, 140 degrees facing southeast. And I got this set up. I want to show you what I, how I found this. So now that you see where I'm at, I got it blown up to 200. I'm just going to walk through some of these. Be patient with me this morning. I'm waking up, drinking my coffee. Okay, get your coffee, guys. This was the first clue that there's something in the sky. So I thought, well, this one's probably dirt. I don't know. But I'm thinking like you guys. That's a bug or that's dirt. There's something down here. And I don't know, but that's not what I'm going to show you. Look at the pink. You see the pink? Something's right here. So I said, okay. I went to four cameras and everything fa facing southeast indicated that something was out there. So I said, okay, let me watch carefully on the southeast cameras. So I started going from southeast to southeast and at the four cameras, this is what I found. All right, now I knew there was something. I blew it up and there you go. My granddaughter said, there it is. Grandpa, there it is. Okay, so, anyways, so you could set this thing at a start. When you go to your camera, you could set it as a start right there, and I'm right there. So I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to go and talk about it a little bit. Here we go. And you can slow it down a little bit as you go. See how it got bright? Watch right over here. It passes it. There it is. Boom. Amazing. And that one's pretty much there all the time. So I keep thinking it's dirt, but I keep testing it. Not dirt. See, no dirt. Right there, no dirt. Anyways, I thought you guys would enjoy seeing this first thing in the morning. And uh, I went ahead and checked it out. And I'm going to do it by hand right now. Okay, see right here? It's hiding between the clouds. That's still there. That might be dirt. And that down there might be something. But this is what I'm interested in right here. <clears throat> As we proceed. Anyways, I found this video out there. And a lady did a, a, beaver sun, a beaver moon shot. And it literally looked like the sun was up in the middle of the night. It was amazing. So as we go along, you see nothing here. They hide it with the clouds. They have the ability to move these clouds over pretty quick. But then all of a sudden, the clouds disappear. And when you get a shot like that, that's the sun simulated being turned all the way up so it could hide it but they usually can't maintain it now right over here you see that purple see the purple still indicates that it's there so as I went through it there's a little shadow right there okay it's on top of it right now but usually will come out on these kind of shots on the other side so that's what I'm going to show you so how are you guys? How is your weekend going? I hope it's going good. I put up a video that was pretty intense of Watchmen's Cry. If you haven't seen it, it was my last video. It's uh, Misty Edwards doing a like a spontaneous cry for the Watchmen. I separated it from all the other stuff and just took the clip on the cry and added it to the sun pictures. If you haven't seen it, you need to go look at it. Um, some people are wondering, you know, do you have to talk about Jesus every time? I have to talk about Jesus every time, guys. I really do. And here we go. Because, see, God's the creator of all these planets. Even this system coming in, and he used it back in Moses' day. He also used it back in Noah's day. And I'm not going to sit here and try to prove it doctrinally, but if you read your Bible, you see what happened. You could actually see it. And if you go to um, Revelations 8 and 9 and read that, you'll see the whole polar shift taking place. It says the islands and the mountains will move out of their spots. The earth will shake like a drunken sailor, basically like a drunk. See that, guys? No dirt. Let me go back up here. See that? Proof that there's something in the sky with that bright sun simulator. I just thought you guys would enjoy this for breakfast. You Nibiru hunters, or watchers. Some of you guys are watchers. Some of you guys send me pictures. If you want to send me pictures, I'll take them and put them up. My address is Nibiru watching 2017 at gmail.com nibiru watching 2017 at gmail.com send me pictures i'll put a show together talk about it talk about your name if you want me to 
but I'm looking for pictures. I usually just go out and find great pictures, but I know some of you are sending me some awesome pictures I'm going to do shows on. Look at that, guys. If that's not a planet, I'll eat my hat, and I don't wear one. You eat my wife's hat. Let's see. Now, do you think that is before the sun or behind the sun? Personally, I think it's one of the planets of Nemesis system. It's pretty obvious, right? And I'm just kind of flicking back and forth. See how the sun just glares on it right there? Wow. That's an amazing shot. So I'm just flipping around here. Anyways, I'm going to cut this video short. I'm going to go find something else. I'll talk to you later. Comment. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. Go ahead and click the, uh, the crown. There's a little one, purple crown, and there's a large purple crown. Either one will give you access to becoming a subscriber. All right. I'll talk to you in a little bit. I'm going to go find something even better. Have a good Sunday if I don't hear from you, if I don't see you, if you don't come back ever. You've seen it here at C. Fernal Channel. Have a great Sunday. Rest.